In this video, we want to go over how to update our navbar details, creating a user service, show the display name instead of the login button on the navbar, and hide some navbar links if the user is not logged in. After we log into our Firebase using our Google account, Firebase is going to return some useful information for us. For example, it's going to return the user ID, it's going to return the name of the user who was logged in, and the email itself. So let's see what those information are. I prefer to perform anything that is related to a user in another service. Some people perform everything in their auth service, but I don't prefer that. So let's generate another service here, ng generate service in folder services, and uh, let's call it user. Okay, so we have another service here. It's our user service. Now let's open it up, user service, Okay, I'm going to create a private field here. Let's call it Angular Fire Auth of type Angular Fire Auth. All right, now I am going to create another variable auth state, and this one I want it to be observable. So I just add this character just to, to show it's observable, and I am going to say it's observable. Make sure that observable is imported from rxjs let's go ahead and observable of type firebase dot user okay i noticed that user is not available directly anymore so we need to have this default first and then dot and then user it's here all right so make sure in new versions you're gonna have to I have this default as well. So let's say equal and this dot angular fire auth dot auth state. That's it. Now we have stored our auth state, which returned from Firebase, stored into this auth state observable. Let's go ahead and use it now. So I want to get the display name of the user. So let's create display name of type observable observable of a string okay and from my auth state dot let's go ahead and I pipe it okay in my pipe I need to map through all right we need to import map now okay control D from RxJS uh, operators and map okay let's go ahead and use it let's create a user variable it goes into okay if I have a user returned let's say if I don't have a user returned I'm going to return null else I'm going to return user dot Okay, here are the values that are returned from the Firebase credentials. Display name, email, verified email is anonymous. UID is one of them, which is important sometimes. So for now, I, want, I need the display name. That's it. Instead of this long uh, if else statement, we can improve our code by ternary operator. So let's go ahead and do it. So we say return if user is not available, return null, else return user dot display name. That's it. So we don't need this part of the code anymore. Beautiful. Before we use this service, we need to provide it to our application. So let's go to app module and say user service. That's good. Now, let's go back to navbar.ts. Now we want to use the service over here. Let's 
go ahead and make sure that you are declaring your variable display name observable before this ng in it otherwise you're gonna get uh, error so make sure you always declare your variables here you can have it after constructor but make sure it's before other methods okay so display name observable of type observable type string okay equals this dot okay now we have to inject the user service as well so private user service okay of type user service there we go now we can use it this dot user service dot display name and that's good save it okay let's go ahead and use the display name in our navbar html okay we want to use it instead of this login so instead of login we want to show show the display name to the user okay so ngf display name observable let's pipe it async because it's an observable we do the async so it subscribes and unsubscribes uh, right away we do not want to have any observable which is subscribed left without being unsubscribed because of the memory leak as this name okay now let's go ahead and use the display display name let me reformat this so it looks better okay very good now let's go ahead and see if the user is updated there we go it's great now let's log in with the other user and we should get this name perfect that's working properly but now let's see if I log out from here what would happen see I would lose that button why because my condition here um, here my condition ngf it would be false because there is no object of display name right so in order to fix that issue we have to have another button let's have another button and call it login okay but in this button it, the button is gonna be shown anyway over here right and we want to replace it with the other menu that we have okay if the user is logged in we want to hide this button and show this one now i'm going to put this button inside an ng template okay and uh, we don't need these extra things okay ng template and we are going to place this button inside that all right and this ng template I'm going to give it an ID of login now this condition is true else go and call that login template that I just made okay so here if we save it let's go ahead and if I log in that login button now it doesn't work why because we have to give this router link okay let's have the whole thing router link to our login button okay now that button works see it takes us to the login page and if I um, login then that disappears and I get my uh, display name okay so let's make that button a bit better outstanding so I'm gonna have it angular material but matte button and now that looks much better okay so let's log in again 
with this one. Perfect. Now everything works fine. Okay, let's go back to our uh, OneNote. We created the user service and we showed the display name instead of the login button. And also we hit some navbar links, which was the login button itself, if the user was not logged in. Let's go to the next one and work on it.